Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor, previously on The uh, Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Um, we got here to the um, Forest Haven, I think. I think that's what it's called. And um, um, I want to put a uh, something in a bottle because there's something that I want to do with it eventually. Actually, I'll do that uh, later. I'll probably do that after something, if that makes any sense. Um, anyway. We got a bottle and some other things. So this is the Deku, the Great Deku Tree. But not everything is as it seems as for some reason there are um, choo-choos uh, on it. So now we have to roll into the Great Deku Tree and have all of the choo-choos um, fall down. And we, um, just defeat them all. This is the first time I've gotten green chew jelly. Um, basically what this can do is, uh, oh yeah, um, the first, this, the, oh I forgot that items disappear fast in games before Breath of the Wild. Uh, I'm so used to that game now. Wait, what? Did I defeat them? They respawned. Hmm, I guess if you don't do it fast enough, they just respawn. Um, something interesting on the choo-choo noise that they make, the noise that choo-choos make, it's actually two Japanese men um, arguing and sped up in reverse. No, we can't read what the um, Great Decker Tree is saying. I must apologize. I was in error. I saw your clothing and suddenly I felt a longing for an age gone by. That longing caused the ancient tongue to pass on my to pass my lips. I am the guardian spirit of this forest haven. The Deku Tree. I owe you my thanks for your aid in riddling me, ridding me of those foul creatures. Tell me, was it not the King of Red Lions? The boat who speaks who led you to this place? So it is true. Then you have come here because you have need of the Pearl of the Goddess. I see. I knew there was a reason the monsters had begun to congregate in the regions around my woods. Now I understand it. He has returned. Ganon has returned. In that case, we must make haste. Koroks, little children of the woods. This traveler is not your enemy. Let your hearts be at ease and show yourselves. What do you call yourself? Link? Well then, Link, these are the Koroks, the spirits of the forest. Once upon a time, but long, long ago, the Koroks took on human forms. But when they came to live on the sea, they took these shapes. Now they fear people, but to me, they will ever be my cherished little children. As it happens, you have come just in time for a ceremony that the Koroks hold but once every year. It is about to begin. I shall grant the per pearl to you once their ceremony is complete. I must apologize for the brief delay, but if the ceremony is not completed soon, an ill fate could befall us. So, let it begin. Are you ready, my children? 
We are not a great Deku tree. Something terrible has happened. Is Makar. Makar. What is the matter, Linder? You and Makar are always late. No, it, it's not that, oh great Deku tree. Makar fell into the Forbidden Woods. What? The Forbidden Woods? I told him to be careful, but still Makar flew above the Forbidden Woods, and as he drew close to it... Foolish little Makar. Link, have you heard all this? The Forbidden Woods are right beside the hollowed island of our forest haven. Those woods, the whole region is a vile place that is home to evil beasts. And now it seems they have taken a child of the forest named Makar. Your presence here is no mistake, I deem. The King of Red Lions likely expects great deeds of you. Of you is why he brought you here. I'm sorry to ask this of you, but can you go rescue young Makar for me? But, great Deku Tree, people cannot fly through the air. Ah, uh, yes, thank you, child. You are right, it is not possible to enter those woods from the sea, is it? Link, I would guess from your size that you are heavier than my Korok children. Yet I think we may still be able to solve this dilemma. You must use the item I shall bestow upon you and fly through the sky. Forgive me, Link, could, but could you climb up to my crown and get the leaf from up there? Oh boy, this part. When I first did this, it took me so long. This thing is a forest firefly. Now, I don't want one right now, so I'm gonna dump it out, and then, um, we Korax pass most of our days far away from our sacred forest haven, raising new trees to foster heavy forests on the many islands of the great sea. Today is the day we were able to return, we were to return to our home for our annual ceremony. But poor Makar. Please, great swordsman, save our brother Makar. Okay, um... This part... I have to find where it starts. This part, I, um... Took me a long time to do this originally. Yep. Gotta jump up in... Jump into these... Things. And then just kinda... Spin around... And then you wait, and then like line yourself up, and then push up on the analog stick to go um, further. But you got to be careful because if you're not, um, if you don't wait, we have to go up here first. If you don't make it properly, then you. Um, what do you have to say? Wow, you're quite good at that, Mr. Knight. Just keep doing that until you get all the way to the top. If you shoot out facing the wrong direction, don't panic. If you don't tilt the analog stick in any direction, you'll say, land safely back in the Baba Bud. That's what it's called. The Baba Bud. Okay, where? Oh, okay. That makes sense. We gotta do this. Okay. Now, you, what you'll probably want to do is just kind of do this until you line yourself up. Just kind of do a dry run and just make sure that you're lined up before you actually push the analog stick to go forward. 
but the first anyway the first time I did this took me so many tries because I just very difficult it actually is a very difficult thing um, theoretically you might be able to go directly to the top but I'm not sure so anyway get one of our f next items you got the Deku Leaf! Set it to and use it with Y, Z, or X. Plant your feet on the ground and use it to blow blasts of air at objects and enemies. You can also jump in the air and use your magic power to drift on the currents of the wind. And it won't break if you hit it against too many things. Swordsman, over here. I don't know who's saying that. Oh, it's a Korok. Please, you must fly from over there to here using your Deku Leaf. Okay. Um. There we go. Okay. Very good, Mr. Swordsman. You've already mastered using the Deku Leaf. But since you're so much heavier than we are, you can't fly very far, can you? How unfortunate. Well, anyway, this is the exit that leads, leads to the Forbidden Woods, where our brother Makar is being held. Please take care of Makar. Uh, will do. Now, in here, we will be getting some... Magic jars. And what those do is they refill our magic meter. That's not. <laughs> what is this wall? <laughs> That's even worse than the wall on um, that cliff on Windfall Island. <sighs> okay. Now this is the Forbidden Woods. I think that's what it's called, the Forbidden Woods and the Forsaken Fortress. They're so similar. Right here you can get some rupees. Um, nope. Not much up here. Um, I want to set that to... I want to... Get out the Deku Leaf. Go up here. Let's see what you have to say. I don't know if you have anything important. Um, congratulations. Here's that you finally got the Deku Leaf. Your looking island is the Forbidden Woods. My car is trapped. I'll have to pull it over. Um, I'll have to change the wind direction. Oh, no, no. Okay. But first, um, I'm gonna wanna have to go over there. Now, the first time I did this, I thought you, uh, couldn't have the wind go, um, anything but north, south, east, and west. But you have to go southwest. On the wind. Airlines. And then we basically just have to go over here. And you'll want to um, get this. Well, you don't have to get that draft. But um, then you can refill your magic on this island over here. What do you have to say? Uh, is this... Wait, is that the first one that we talked about earlier? So basically they're just telling that we, um... Telling us that we need to refill our magic. Um, then to get to such a high place we'll have to catch the updraft. And then we'll have to time our jump for my jump just right. So it'll carry it and carry us into the updraft. And we can 
go over to the woods. Yay. Is that good? I think that's good. But we need to change our wind direction again. To whatever direction Link is facing. That generally how I figure out wind direction changing in Wind Waker is I just change it to whatever direction that Link is facing and then I whoop. Uh oh. And then I just kind of um change it to that. Nope. Not even the, um, the leaf pumping technique can help you there. You actually have to do pretty well at it. So I'm going to try that again. Hmm. Get over there. Okay. So I caught the updraft. And went right into a piat. Um, I'll just cut ahead until I get it. Okay. So I got the drift thing. I want to dodge the piats. Hmm. I'm just going to cut ahead until I can get it. Until the attempt that I get it on. There we go, I got it that time. Nice. <laughs> nice. Okay. Get in there. In here are um, choo choos. A lot of choo choos. I think I'm just gonna kind of try to ignore them. So, um, in here is a chest. And in the chest, I'm assuming it's gonna be the dungeon map. Yep, dungeon map. Now what we have to do for this first room is um, take this ball, whatever it is, it's probably a seed of some sort, and then throw it against the wall. And then that'll open this area. And in here, we have to... Hmm. We have to go across. There's a rupee, blue rupee. 
Hmm. Always takes so long for the Wind Waker uh, enemy defeated animations to complete. I don't really like how long it takes. I like the, the animation where um, it. Um, ooh, a fairy. There we go. Now we have a fairy in the bottle. Um. Hmm. Okay, so there's an enemy in here. Oh, choo choos. There's a lot of them in here. Are they respawning or something? I don't know. Actually, can I? I'm not even gonna comment on that. Well, that was a nice, um, that really helped. Can I actually? Hmm. How close can I get? Hmm. So there's like a an area thing on it that doesn't allow them to be affected. Is the hmm. Now what's nice about these things is that they refill your um magic meter. Oh. I'll be back. Okay, I'm actually going to fly over here. Hmm. I'm going to fly over here and see if there's anything up here. Oh, wait, I think we have to wait. Um. To do that. If you hear that, that's, um, the, that's bugs outside hitting the window. Okay, here's a bomb flower. Um, I think in a second I'll end this episode here and uh, be done for now. Yeah, I think now I can, um, in this room, I think I'm done for this episode. Uh, in episode 16, I'm gonna head, I'm gonna keep going through this dungeon. So, um, goodbye for now.